So this is my MY22, 23, if you like. It's the updated Palisade. Um, it's a 2.2 litre diesel. Uh, in Australia here, we get the 2.2 litre diesel, which is probably sells outsells the petrol 10 times to one, um, given the economy, performance, torque, etc. cetera, um, over the petrol. That, obviously, they don't release them in North America in diesel. Uh, I don't know why. That's your guy's problem, I guess. But anyway, um, I have 16,800 kilometres on this car. After its first service, they have told me that it needs essentially everything replaced in the timing chain region. So chain, sprockets, tensioner, etc., etc. I've got the full list and breakdown. Um, so if your Palisade or Santa Fe comes with the same 2.2 litre diesel, makes a noise that sounds similar to this. that noise it's not the it's not the diesel noise it's the noise that sounds like almost like a, a washer or something's rattling and being sort of inconsistent but it sort of rattles as the engine speed increases I'll close the door so you can see what um, rpm it is oh, I can't because hang on a sec there we go um, to so you can hear that it moves up with the engine speed If your Palisade is making that noise, chances are it's going to need a hell of a lot of warranty work done. I don't mind though, they've been pretty well, um, pretty good customer service actually about it. So they're obviously offering a loan vehicle. Um, taking care of all of hassles if I need an Uber or something like that to you know go between places or anything like that but they've essentially ordered one of everything in and they're going to keep replacing parts until they sort it out uh, so yeah timing chain areas here at the front of the engine here um, obviously when they change the oil they spilt a bit of oil there but yeah, they're going to be throwing parts at it until they replace it. They told me to keep driving it for the next two weeks until it goes back in. Um, and essentially they said, look, if anything goes wrong with it, we'll just put a new long motor in it. So I guess from that point of view, thumbs up. Um, it's a little bit of a kick in the teeth. Uh, but, you know, hey, what, what do you do? It's a brand new car. It's got warranty. I'm not really impacted by it. They're going to give me a car to get around in. So... You know, uh, Hyundai Australia, if you come through with the goods, then all is forgiven. It, you know, it happens. It happens to all manufacturers. Um, I think in America, there's a huge issue with the petrol engines uh, having an issue with bearings and, um, and things like that. So again, these 2.2 litre diesels are kind of not really exclusive, but we get them a lot in Australia here in, in the Hyundai Kia variants. And the, they are pretty track proven, so this is pretty unique, I guess. But um, yeah, either way, it's going to get fixed and we should be fine. And this is the list.